everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel. The NFL starts in seven hours from now. I'm pumped, Tom. I am too. You know, we talked about studs the other day. Let's talk about some values, how we can afford, you know, a full lineup of players. Yeah, in order to get those studs that we talked about over on Tuesday in the lineup, you got to find some value guys. And your value guys just all happen to be old guys, which makes sense. That's why they're valuable. And we begin in New England when the reports coming out say, hey, Cam Newton likes to throw to his running backs and his top wide receiver. Thanks, report. He's going to throw to his best players. That's Julian Edelman, and that's James White. White is $5,300 this week on FanDuel. And I feel like people forgot that Cam Newton used to just dump it off to Christian McCaffrey over and over and over again. And we expect more of the same this week with James White. Absolutely. That is, you know, the calling card for Cam Newton. And I think on top of that, you know, we also have to be looking at the reports surrounding Sony Michelle, where he was on the pup list to start training camp. Then he came back. He's playing or he's practicing in a, in a week and a half, two weeks of games. And then even more reports recently saying that they're going to ease him back into the offense. And, you know, this really has me worried, and I want to be targeting White in this situation. We have the Patriots coming in with a 24.25 implied team total. They're home favorites. You know, we have always targeted running backs who are home favorites in, you know, DFS. That's DFS 101. Why are we not talking about James White when their normal starter, Sonny Michel, is not ready to go for a full game? So if they somehow keep it close, the Dolphins do with the Patriots, we know that White has receiving upside. If Sonny Michel doesn't play a full game because they're easing him back in, we can also go to James White. So $5,300 for a player as a home favorite, I'm taking him. I'm excited for Rex Burkhead to ruin all of our lineups because that's clearly what is coming this Sunday. But if he doesn't on the small chance, then James White's your guy. Just $5,300 for a player who should see increased time this weekend with the rest of the backfield banged up. Another old veteran that you're in on this week, making his debut for the New Orleans Saints, that would be Emmanuel Sanders. Sanders is $5,600 this weekend for New Orleans over on FanDuel. And Drew Brees has a fresh new toy to use, and so do we. Absolutely. You know, I spoke about Manny Sanders, I want to say, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, for season-long deeper wide receivers. I was on board with him then. I drafted him in some best ball leagues. I'm on board with him to start week one. You know, this game has a 49 and a half over under against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Everyone's going to be targeting this game. We know that that's not a secret. You know, but going to a Saints stack of Breeze, Thomas, and Kamara, you know, that's uh, you know probably one of the most popular options on the slate. So if you want to try and gain some leverage and still get exposure to this game in the cheaper way, it really comes with Manny Sanders. And I said this when I spoke about him. The Saints never had a true second wide receiver. It was always Thomas, Kamara, maybe Cook when it comes to the red zone. But we know that Manny Sanders has a great A dot downfield, taking the top off the defense. And for looking at a shootout, I want to gain leverage in tournaments and get a cheaper player with Sanders in this same game. Emmanuel Sanders, a cheaper option on those expensive New Orleans Saints with Breeze, with Michael Thomas, of course, Alvin Kamara. Emmanuel Sanders in his first game as a Saint. Let's see what he can do. Finally, we're talking about old guys, players that aren't sexy or exciting to get in there. That's where we get to quarterback, and you get to Ty Rod Taylor, $7,000 for Tyrod, making uh, the start for the Chargers. Justin Herbert's coming to the wings, but not this week. It's Tyrod Taylor time, and he has an opportunity this week against the Bengals. Yeah, speaking of the Bengals, I'm not sure if you heard, they're not great, and they're specifically not great on defense. For our power rankings on number five, we have them as the fourth worst in the pass defense and second worst overall. So we're really looking at a good spot for the Chargers, and you know I kind of like this game as maybe a sneaky spot for a bit of a shootout. We have great offensive options on both sides, specifically with the Chargers. You can look to add Taylor with uh, Keenan Allen, who's just coming off a new contract, of course, Austin Eckler in the backfield, and Hunter Henry. So we may not see 300 plus yards from Taylor, but I've always looked at him as a quarterback that can give you one in one, one in the air, one on the ground. He has rushing upside. He's very cheap. So if you want to go with him and Keenan Allen, pay up for a running back somewhere else, get some exposure to the Seattle Atlanta game, the Saints and Buccaneers game. He's a quarterback that really allows you to do that. Terod Taylor on Sunday has the ability to do what you want from these running quarterbacks, but those other guys are really expensive. Taylor's not, just $7,000 and pairing him up in a game that could be a sneaky shootout. Well, that's how you win the big bucks in a tournament. There you have it, your studs earlier this week, your values today. I'm ready to set my DFS lineup, Tom. I appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend. Same to you. Talk to you next week. Tomorrow, one more piece of DFS advice is Jim Sadas will join us. Take a look at some stacks for this weekend. Enjoy it, everybody. Enjoy Thursday Night Football. The defending champs were in action. 
against the Houston Texans. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.